Hey guys, welcome back to another reaction video. Today we are watching Bill Burr. It's been a minute since I've checked out any Bill Burr, but you guys know he's the king. At least I think he's the king of comedy. So today's video is going to be plastic surgery and lotion. If you are new here, hi, my name is Camilla. I make reaction videos. I love watching comedy. I also like watching music. Um, if there's anything specific you want me to react to, leave it down in the comments. Um, and there's other ways you can support my channel down in the description below. I've got Amazon wishlist, Venmo, PayPal, you know the drill. But today we're going to be watching Bill Burr's plastic surgery and lotion. This is nine minutes long. Let's get right into it. Here we go. I gotta admit, the only thing that freaks me out about Los Angeles is, uh, is all the plastic surgery. Mm. I don't get it. I feel like it's everywhere now. Why do people get plastic surgery, you know? Why can't you just admit it's over? <laughs> you know, you had your time. Stop trying to look fuckable in your 50s. It's weird. Look at their faces yanked back. Looking all shiny, right? <laughs> Not to mention, they haven't even figured it out. You know, why would you get a facelift? Can't you look at other facelifts and realize they haven't worked all the bugs out yet? <laughs> right? That's what you want to look like? Like you just lost a fight three days ago? <laughs> Don't be a hero. Let somebody else go in there. Take the fucking beach. You, you lay back. Wait it out. They're just lying to people. Oh no, it looks great, it looks great. Put a little ice on it, we'll see you in a couple weeks. All right, take it easy. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened? We followed every step, did we miss something? Oh, hey, 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 oh, here's your keys, here's your keys. There you go, there you go. Almost didn't recognize you, you look so young. All right, take it easy. <laughs> she gone? All right, she's gone, all right, shred everything, shred it. No, you're nuts. You wait it out. Let them figure it out. Then you fucking go in. Don't be a goddamn hero. You know? Look at hair plugs. Hair plugs don't look half bad now. That's true, so this actually. I saw guy the other night on TV. He's like, oh, God, I wish I did this 10 years ago. It's like, no, you don't. <laughs> 10 years ago, when they were stapling ant legs to the top of people's heads. <laughs> Remember that? Your eyes would water looking at their hairline. Like, is that, is that sewn in? I see pine tar. They used to put you in like a headlock. Hold still. Use like a nail gun. Ugh. Hold still. Guys would tap out after a row and a half. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. You wish you got hair plugs 10 years ago. Do you wish you got polio 60 years ago? <laughs> what else is on your wish list, sir? No, you don't fuck with your face. Okay? I understand liposuction. They screw that up. You can put on a shirt, right? There's no shirt for your face. Who do they think they're fooling with this stupid, you know? Yeah. And then you lie to yourself. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do this. Just going just gonna, to just gonna have this done. No, you're not. You're not. What are you, you're just going to wax the fender on your car? <laughs> and that's it. And the rest of it looks all shitty. Well, maybe I'll just do the hood. And maybe I'll do the back. That's how it happens. Then you look like one of those real housewives. Like, <laughs> Face all twisted up. These fucking idiots. Do I look? They are they're idiots. Do I look like I'm in my twenties? No, you look weird. You look yeah. Fucking weird. You still look like you're in your fifties. I just can't guess what year anymore because I've never seen that year. I've never seen that shiny fucking look. It's almost like you discovered a new age between fifty-two and fifty-three. Yeah. People, there's nothing wrong with being 52. Honestly. And 52. All right, you're 52. You didn't get fucked. Yeah. What would you rather be, 52 and look 52, or be 52 and look like a 28-year-old lizard? <laughs> right? That's your options at this point. <laughs> you know what's really really like actually uh, embarrassing is that the facelift, that's predominantly a white problem. Have you notice that? I've never that's seen a true. black person with a facelift ever. Mm -hmm. Other than like the Jacksons, but they're all out of their minds, right? Because their dad made them rehearse all day and sleep in the fireplace. They get a pass. <laughs> right, jamming all nine. Get in there, you bastards! No hugs, no kisses. His face permanently twisted up from 50 years of screaming, Sing, motherfucker! <laughs> it's understandable with them. 
Hey, do you know why so many whiteies need facelifts? I love that word. I'm trying to bring it back. <laughs> I love it. It's funny. Whitey! You know why? Do you know why so many Caucasians need facelifts? Here we go. Because we don't know about lotion. <laughs> I knew where that was going. See that? Only half of you laughed. That should have been everybody. Yeah, but a lot of you were sitting there like, well, what about lotion? What is this lotion you speak of, and what is the magic therein? Just to put it out there, you can use lotion on other parts of your body besides your dick. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever wondered why your dick still looks brand new, but the rest of you is starting to look like an aging pirate? Because you need to increase the circumference of the lotion distribution. All right, you got skin everywhere. Go home, check yourself out. <laughs> the bottom of your feet look like a prehistoric riverbed. That's not part of the natural aging process. You dried out. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging anybody. I didn't know anything about lotion. Never used it the first 33 years of my life. Never used it. To one night I was going out with this black girl, right? She was getting ready and she was just putting that shit on everywhere. Just slathering it on. I thought she had like a rash or something. I'm like, what are they, like poison ivy? What's going on? <laughs> she goes, no, I'm just making sure I'm not ashy. I said, ashy? She goes, dry skin. I went, wow. I guess I freaked her out a little bit because I was like, wow. She's like, well, white people get ashy too. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I don't think we do. <laughs> yeah, I've been alive for 33 years. No one has ever said, hey, Bill, uh, you look a little ashy. I never even heard that word until you said it. She's like, you're an idiot, stick out your arm. So I stick out my arm and ever so gently, she just drags her nails down. This smoke starts coming up. It's like pastry flakes flying off, track marks, she's signing her name. She's like, you see that? She goes, that's ashy. You're ashy? You freak me out. I'm like, holy shit, I'm ashy. I didn't know anything about it. All I knew was that I always got itchy in the winter. Couldn't figure it out. Always got itchy in the winter. What the fuck do I get itchy? I thought it meant the bath towel was dirty. That's what I thought. <laughs> and I would ridiculous. change it out and put a fresh one. Now I'm going to be okay. Take a shower, dry off, fucking itching again. God damn it, I hate the winter. Yeah. See that? That's why you got to hang out with everybody. <laughs> yeah. There's too much information in the world, and every group of people misses a little bit. White people totally missed the lotion seminar at some point in history. I don't know if it's because we can't see it, you know, black people get ashy. It looks like they like leaned up against a chalkboard or something. You know, they can see it. They miss it. Their friends help them out. Like, look at your ashy motherfucking elbow. What is wrong with you? Right? We miss that shit the way black people miss the whole register your weapons summit. Oh my God. Right? <laughs> Just never got the information. The amount of rappers who've been busted for the unregistered Glock in the car just blows my mind. <laughs> it's like, why would you do that to yourself? Do you just want to make an album over the phone? Is that what it is? <laughs> is that like the new auto-tune or some shit? I don't know. No, it breaks my heart every time I see it. I just think, God, if he just had one white friend. If he just had one white friend in his entourage, the dude would have been sitting there going like, is that thing registered? <laughs> you out of your mind? Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Yeah, it's illegal. That's like fucking three to five mandatory. Dude, how do, you, how do you not know that? That's the question. How do you not fucking know that? This guy's got an unregistered weapon in the car. Like, we're just going to go driving around with it. It's just, it's just ridiculous. That's freaking funny. <laughs> See, there you go. All right? You don't need a facelift. Okay? Lay off the booze. Do some cardio. Moisturize, you're gonna be fine. Okay, don't believe in these myths. Black don't crack, it's bullshit. They all put lotion on like every 20 minutes during the day, it's ridiculous. They all got a giant oil drum with the shit at home. Every morning they wake up, they dump themselves in it, shake themselves off and walk out the door absolutely glistening, <laughs> glistening. White guys like me are walking around, no hat on. Hey, let's go sailing. <laughs> Passing out face down in the sand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with him with like the 
I'm with him about the whole pa- plastic surgery thing. I'm not into it. There's like, especially like there's really young, beautiful girls that are getting it like in their early 20s. And it's just like, you're gorgeous. Why are you doing that? And then they just end up looking weird. I feel like a lot of younger women have been so heavily influenced by like the Kardashians and just you know, all these influencers who are doing these things and they're getting their lips injected, they're getting filler in their 20s. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's just bizarre. I will say, though, the whole thing about groups of people and them knowing about certain things, I think that's true. From a young age, for me, my mom is Filipino and Japanese. From a very young age for me, um skincare like on specifically on my face was always very a very specific like it was a very serious thing that was always talked about but I I will say my mom never talked to me about moisturizing the rest of my body besides my face at all and I didn't really start taking care of like my like I don't know my leg skin and my arm skin until I was like in my 20s but from a young age I was like washing my face twice every night because my mom took aging on the face very seriously so she looks really good she's gonna be 50 really soon and she looks really good I feel like her skin looks good she's not very wrinkly I think some of that's also genetics (laughs) probably but um yeah I feel like in Asian culture skincare is a very serious thing um and it's just a thing that we do you know we take very seriously Bill Burr is freaking funny. Always telling the truth, but always making people laugh while he does it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out, you guys. Let me know what else I should be reacting to down in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.